Liz Yule from Old Stables Crafts. Thank you very much for joining me again today. Um, just to remind you, I am a Stamping Up demonstrator based in the UK. I have got a little box to show you this morning. It's very purple posy. Um, it is using the uh, Playing With Patterns Suite, which is on page 100, 101 um, and for, uh, backwards from there of your new annual catalogue. Um, I'm using the designer series paper and the ribbon combo. This is, oh, and the stamp set, which bundles with the new alphabet dies. Uh, and if you buy the two together using the bundle code, then you save 10% on the total price. And it's just £42.25 for a whole set of alphabets and numbers, including some extra uh, letters and some um, some spe specific um, language letters. So there's a C with a cedilla, uh, there's accents and those sorts of things. So it's a really, really great alphabet set. And of course, remember that if you want to buy the starter kit, you could add that bundle as your free item to your starter kit because for the rest of June, you can add any bundle of your choice onto your starter kit at no extra cost. Anyway, let me show you this. Do remember that while I'm doing this, you can subscribe just by hitting the red button in the bottom right hand corner. It costs you nothing, um, but it makes quite a difference to me uh, because of rankings. So inside I've got, they don't go perfectly, but I've got some of the large, these are Ikea candles. Um, I think they're meant to be lavender. It's They sort of smell lavender-ish. Um, so it will take those. I'll retie that ribbon later. I love this ribbon. Um, so this, as I say, is all purple posy. I'm changing up the colours for my next box, which I will go through the measurements, which will also be on my website. Um, but I'll go through all of that as we go. So I'm now going to go Coastal Cabana and this pattern. Um, now, I thought I had the pattern paper pack by me. But I don't. Oh, there it is. So let me, oh, stretch. Let me show you. This is roughly half a pack. Uh, let me show you the patterns. We've got Coastal Cabana, Knight of Navy, Calypso Coral. I want to say Petal Pink, but it may be, it may not be. Um, let me just check that for you because I've got my, I've got my catalogue here. So it is basic black, cinnamon cider, early espresso, flirty flamingo, real red, soft suede. Um, so really nice, you know, a mix of bold and less bold. I mean, this is gorgeous, this one. Uh, so if you, if you like more subtle patterns, then we've got those. If you like a bolder pattern, then we've got those. So really nice. Um, so, to make your box, which will end up four and five eighths across, two and three eighths width, and seven eighths of an inch depth, you need for your base six and three eighths by four and one eighth, and I will then come on to my little trick. For your lid, you need four and five eighths by two and three eighths. Um, and no, sorry, no, you need five and five eighths by three and three eighths. The measurements will be on my website, which is linked immediately below. Uh, and yes, so to get the box to fit perfectly together, let me just grab my scoreboard. Um, I always, this is always what I do, I cut my base and then I trim off the short edge and the long edge one sixteenth of an inch. And that then gives you a really nice snug fit. Can you see that that's a really nice snug fit? And it means you don't have to do any of this sort of, you know, pull it out a bit. It's it's just there. And you really wouldn't notice that it's smaller. So I'm going to score each edge at seven eighths of an inch. I would always turn, if I'm just doing a standard lid, or standard box, I would always, always just turn the card so that if you have cut slightly off, you know your seven eighths is going to be correct. And then on my paper, 
I'm doing half an inch. Do not press too hard, it is only paper. It just needs to be told that this is where you're going to fold. It doesn't need to be beaten into submission. So just gently run your score tool down. So that's our scoring done. Now I am waiting for my new adhesive. It's been dispatched, but it hasn't arrived yet. Um, so I'm going to be using tear and tape, but this would be perfect for Seal Plus, which is our new extra strong adhesive. It's kind of, we believe it's like um, Fast Fuse was, but maybe on steroids. Um, this I'm just going to fold with my fingers because sometimes if you use your bone folder on paper, you can crack the paper. So it just, it reduces that chance. Now, snips are here. So I'm just going to cut into these squares at each corner. The squares are going to come round to the short edge. So I'm going to cut the score into the square so that we've got a nice clean cut here. Okay, nice. So this, is, this has not got any of the score mark on it. And then I'm just going to wedge very slightly off both of those sides. Basically all I'm doing is taking a score line's worth off on each side. And again, score line into the square, trim and trim. And just get that off and then turn and do exactly the same. So take a little wedge, score line into the square, trim, and do the same on the other side. So while I'm busy doing this, uh, the weather here has changed significantly. Last week was incredibly hot. This week it is cold and wet. The garden needs it. I'm just being positive. I'm going to do exactly the same with this. It's not as easy to see because of the pattern, but exactly the same. Um, so, yes, the garden needs it, she says, trying to be positive. Um, but cold, wet, miserable, not very nice at all. Uh, and we're getting really heavy showers. So if you hear at any point in one of my videos over the next few days, if it sounds like there's shrapnel being hurled at my windows. That'll be why. Because, oh, can't really see that. That's better. Because um, we're just getting ridiculous amounts of rain. Saves a job. Saves <laughs> saves having to water the garden. Um, and our water butts were empty, so we were kind of struggling with water. So, that's those. Right, tear and tape. I am going to pop along just inside of the score line on each of the fold and then just at the end. That bit is just to keep everything in place as that is now torn with that angle. I'm going to go there and again it seems to be how I tear this tape at a little angle. So let's turn it round and do the same again. And down here, and the same again. And then tiny weeny little pieces on this. You could use, whoops, let's go up to that one. I'm only going to put one piece on. Uh, you could use glue dots, but um, you get a better finish with the tear and tape because it's got a straight edge. Uh, so it does mean that it sticks more snugly if more snugly is grammatically correct, uh, you get a, a better finish on your on your seam. So I do always like to burnish my tear and tape down so that we know it's properly adhered and then grab my piercing tool, pointy tool, the don't stick it up your fingernail tool on my take your pick, and yes, I do have two take your picks. It saves time when I'm doing videos from changing from one to the other. And I've lost the cover for one of the pointy tools. 
it will turn up. I have at least now found my sticky scissors. They were in a very bizarre place. Right, so I'm going to line this straight edge up against the fold. So just there. And again. And again. And I'm actually holding this one out of the way so that it doesn't stick in the wrong place. And the last one. And there we go. And then this we do exactly the same. Now, because I am one of those people that likes things to be reasonably even, when I cut the length down, I did trim a bit off both ends because otherwise I would have ended up with a lot of one of the colours and not very much of the other, which would have just not been comfortable for me. So I did trim it down from both ends. So I've got a bit of the Calypso Coral and a bit of the Knight of Navy. Now this is just paper, so just, you know, encourage it to go on the inside. And I've got two vanilla candles and I can just pop that on the top and then grab my ribbon. So this is the combo that you get. So there's Knight of Navy, Purple Posy, and this is the one I'm going to use for this which is the Coastal Cabana. They are gorgeous. I'm just about to send out my ribbon and paper shares. So those should be in the post, hopefully this week. Otherwise it will be um, very early next week. So fingers crossed, uh, people will start receiving those soon. I will be doing a second round. So if you are still looking for uh, product shares, Keep your eyes peeled. Once I have got my first round out, I will be doing a second round and I will also be doing a second round of invitations for my virtual launch party, which is on the 11th of July, she says with her fingers crossed, if that's a Saturday. So that is our little bow, which is actually the other end from the last one, but that's easily fixed. There we go. And pop that away and now some stamping so I've got a scrap of paper and coastal cabana and two stamps which I've already got mounted on blocks I just need a scrap of paper actually I can just leave that flat uh, because I want I want the coastal cabana to be stamped off a few times for the um, herringbone. The original one I did with Gorgeous Grape stamped off, I want to say three if not four times, I think this was four times, to get that purple posy shade. I could have brought in Highland Heather and done it with fewer stamping offs, but I wanted Gorgeous Grape as the main colour. So let's just practice one, two, mm, I think we'll go three. Going to be very pale but I think we'll go three because I, I don't actually want it to be too obvious because the stamping on top is going to be in the same ink. Perfect, just the depth of colour I want it and then cue, cue the confetti. This is not straight, I mean it's the, the drawing is not straight so don't worry too much about getting your cue the confetti straight because we're going to be punching it out with a punch anyway. So we can work out the straightness at this point. Work out, sort out I think is what I was trying to say. So this is the bit that I'm really concentrating on because the cue the is non-cursive so it's very it's got a very straight line. So let's punch that. Uh, I will list all of the products I've used both below and on my website. And as I say, that's linked immediately below, so no worries with that. I'm just going to take a few little edge pieces using my non-sticky snips, but never mind. Uh, and then that's going to go there and there. And peel the backings off. Uh, the links 
below and the links on my website for products. You just click on them and it will take you to the items in my online store. Really easy. Um, UK is the only country I sell to, but I can recruit for UK, France, Germany, Austria and the Netherlands. And I do have a um, team in um, on in mainland Europe, on mainland Europe, in mainland Europe, as well as around the UK. So there we go, two nice little gift boxes. So I hope you enjoyed that. As I say, don't forget to subscribe. It's down in the bottom right hand corner. If you would like to subscribe to my newsletter, you can do that over on my website as well. If you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you've got any questions or comments, just leave them either below or over on my website. Thank you very much indeed for joining me today. Have a fantastic day and I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye!